Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, this guy, <laughs> I, uh, it's kind of funny how I got him. So I was at this uh, independent store and I looked at, I was looking at all the Black Series that they had. They had quite a um, selection and I saw this guy so I looked at him on Amazon and it was the same about the same price it was actually a dollar or two more plus shipping in the wheat so I decided just to pick him up so he he was worth this much in the store and I pull out 20 and I pull out a five because I don't have any ones then when the guy types it in and it's you know it's been a while because of how long it took for him to type it in um he says $15. I'm like, I swipe that $5 bill and just put it in my pocket and try to pretend that he didn't see it and give him my 20 So I definitely do want to go back to that store and army build my first order stormtroopers. So I'm not saying the store because I'm going to get there first. So, aha. Uh, anyways, the package. It's got a nice picture of the stormtrooper right there. Uh, move my measuring tape over. Uh, Hasbro there. Uh, number four. And then there's a read up if you want to read it. Pause it now. And uh, nothing much else going on with the packaging. Let's get this guy. Alright, we got the stormtrooper out of the packaging. And uh, it's a pretty decent figure. Um, some points of articulation that I don't like. Uh, and something wrong with his finger, which I'll go over in a minute. But. I mean, overall, he's kind of short and pudgy. I mean, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Um, let's just take a measurement of him, I guess. I want to show him off to, like, a, a wrestling figure, but most of you don't even probably. He is about, not like, just under six and a half feet tall. I mean, six and a half feet tall. Six and a half inches tall now. You know what? Screw it. Uh, I'm bringing in a... A Dean Ambrose figure. Uh, I mean, different companies, so they most likely are out of scale. But here's a, a figure I just reviewed recently. Um, it's uh, Cottonmouth Marvel Legends. I mean, it's insane. Uh, here, I guess I'll do Princess Leia. But then again, she has a short, a shorter character, so I can't really do that. But uh, it is ridiculously small. Uh, that's what she said. Um, anyways, uh, continuing on. Uh, his face, I, the helmet, at least. I always like the new design of the First Order Stormtroopers helmets. Um, I think it's very fresh. Um, I don't know how else to put it besides just very fresh, new, original I mean, yeah, that's all I really can say, but it's got some nice detail in here. You can see some, like, texture in there. It's got this little piece right here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I still don't understand how they can see out of that, but, um, <laughs> uh, you can see some details here. There, nice. He's wearing this nice glossy armor. Oh, that's, yeah, we'll look at his accessories in a moment, but, uh, yeah, looks very nice. Pouches of some sort. And he's got this thing back here, don't even know. And he's got this gun, which you can't remove. Nice details there. My hands are actually feeling a bit weird with all this plastic, like, it's like XX plastic plastic on it so it's like my hands are feeling weird but yeah but nice details here's the back now his trick his trigger finger got warped so I can't get him to hold the gun you know properly and uh, because there's this little piece right there I can't like I can maneuver it but it's very difficult like, that's the closest I can get. And then, getting this to go, like, so. Yeah. Uh, but, 
Did I go over articulation? Yeah, I don't know. His head is on a ball joint, can barely move up at all. Down quite a bit. Let's just get his arm out of there. Um, his arm does not move out, but they move forward and backwards. Uh, there is a single bend at the elbow. Swivel at the elbow as well. Hinge and uh, swivel at the hand. There is a diaphragm joint, so it can move back quite a bit. Move forward quite a bit, side to side. Nice. I like that. Uh, and it can move side to side, I think I said that. Uh, the legs can move out that far. Like so. It can move back barely at all. Double bend at the knee. The foot is on a hinge and swivel. Pivot. Um, and to store, actually, let's take a look at the accessories. I already promised that. Um, I definitely like this a lot better than the, I want to say older model, but all the other sculpts, um, they don't, it's just a plain black, no coloring or anything, but yeah, it's a nice gun. I like the white. There's silver in there too. Uh, the pistol's a little warped, as you can tell there, but nice white again. It's got the scope there, the sights. Yeah, and then it's got this little peg right here. Which hand? Shut the side. It's nice details on the barrel. Uh, it's got this little peg right here. You can just peg it right in, like so. And there you go. That's, it stays in there pretty nice too. So. I'm most likely never going to use that, so I'm glad, um, well, not, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I like this gun enough to have him use that instead of the teeny weeny pistol, <laughs> but I love the, all the jokes of the stormtroopers aim for crap, uh, I think it's very funny, come on, you can do it. There you go. Uh, but it is... He is very flimsy as well. Um, again, I can't get that to hold it too good. But... Uh, yeah, it, this figure could definitely be a lot better. Uh, I'm hoping to get more of the original Stormtroopers. I hear they're getting re-released. Uh, I heard it from Toy Fair, so... Uh, but they're being released in, like, the older style packaging, which... I don't know how I feel about that, because it's going to make me feel like uh, i got to keep it in as a collector. But it's like, toys are meant to be played with. They're meant to be opened. Um... Vinyl collectibles, in fact, are meant to be opened as well. I know, shocker, but it's still, like, pops. I know a lot of people hate pops, but, I mean, you gotta give them credit. They put something out there that everyone can agree that, you know, they look cool. So, <laughs> bless me. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see a lot more Star Wars Black Series reviews, um, and a lot more Marvel Legends reviews. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.